presentation will be held by uh, Dr. Uh, Abdelila Kadili. Uh, he is a founder, founding president of a Takmin Foundation for Excellence and Innovation. Dr. Kadili held several senior positions in Moroccan public administration, including director for administrative reform, deputy director for Royal Archives and central director for Ministry of Housing. In addition to teaching in Morocco, the United States, vice president of an American companies and the lawyer director for the Peace and Rule of Law Foundation of the International Organization based in Washington, D.C., the president of an international organization active in the field of human rights. Dr. Kadili has focused particularly in the demographic transition, development, and emergence of African countries, where he continues to provide consulting and assistance till today. The president of Takmine Foundation holds several pre- and post-doctoral degrees, including those Moroccan faculties and schools and business and law schools from United States of America. Dr. Kadili's presentation topic is information technologies and their impact on education, its improvement and its transformation in Morocco and as well as on the continent. Good morning. I, I wanted before, before uh, uh, my presentation, ask Dr. Asher one question. Why do we take uh, education from here? I mean, are we to deconstruct education as it is today and uh, start something new, not understanding what the new generations, those not born yet, uh, want and will be? What do we do? This is uh, uh, what we are trying to understand here in Morocco and uh, uh, with a lot of uh, people involved and in trying to expand that to African countries and to other countries as well. Uh, you've you've uh, dropped a huge stone in the, in, the, in the water and the ripples are huge. What do we do? Where do we go? Uh, so I suggest your presentation, you'll answer. Well, okay. uh, uh, ju just, My... one, just one sentence, please. I am a Tunisian, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm from Tunisia. <laughs> Okay. And the only thing I, I wish for Tunisia and Morocco and the North African and the Tuarga is to go to jump to the digital network revolution. This yes. is the only yes. way to jump above the West countries in the world because I am a Tunisian in my identity. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Well, I have Moroccan in mind, so uh, we will meet some, uh, sometime in the future talk about this. Thanks a lot, Dr. Aisha. I would like, first of all, to thank the president of the Western Galilee College, the heads of the ver its various departments, the colle colleagues, faculty members, and staff for this kind of invitation to participate in this important international conference focused on economic strength and social capital in, in the Middle East. To tell you how honored and pleased I am to be with you, I would like also to convey the president of the university and to all the greeting of my colleagues at the, the Tamkin Foundation. Months ago, thanks to the effort of very, very committed, dedicated executive of the college, namely Dr. Karmit Dahl, academic secretary and international relations coordinator, and Dr. Ver Verid uh, uh, Wakinin, head of the education department in the college. To whom I would like to express my special thanks and appreciation and the Tumkin Foundations. Are we okay? Yeah, yeah, we're great. Continue, please. Okay. The Foundation Legal, Legal and Partnership Department, we concluded an important partnership agreement with your prestigious college, the first ever with an education institution from Israel. We are very happy and very committed to build in a long lasting relationship with your college, uh, college its faculty, its staff, and its leadership and to contribute into the strengthening of the relationship between our two countries. Within the framework of our, our partnership agreement and those we will certainly develop as we move forward while working together. We are committed to not only learn, be exposed to your approach, share hours, exchange visitors, students and experts, organize roundtables, seminars, fields, field studies and other scholarly 
event focused on improving the quality of education, but we also are committed to building together, to undertaking new initiative projects for their implementation here in Morocco, in Israel, and on the continent. We're eager to share in with you what we have achieved during the five years of our existence with the purpose to expand in the size of our programs and the scope of their implementation beyond the boundaries of Morocco toward every single country of the African continent. We do hold the belief that if most African countries are to rise, to benefit from their tremendous wealth and develop, it is through an improved and completely, com completely transformed educational system. It is this safe system that will provide the targeted countries with competent, able, and expert human resources who could attend to their country's development and therefore join the rising developing countries. We would like, along with your college, to actively contribute to this transformation through seminars, training, roundtables, study group, research, and as many projects as we could design and implement within a collaborative and partnership framework. This is a great opportunity for me to introduce the Temkin Foundation and to share with you our undertaking aimed at contributing to the transformation of education, not only in Morocco, but on the continent as well, via an innovative and creative approach to integrating information and communication technologies into education. Uh, uh, will I be able to present some of the platforms we have here? Would you give me give me um, uh, um, change my status to presenter? Yeah, if it's it within the time constraint, it would be yes. Okay. It will be within the time constraint. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'm I'm looking at my watch. So okay. if I may, right. Thank uh, present you. a couple of platforms we developed here in uh, at the foundation. Be more than uh, than uh, uh, happy and. Uh, Thank you a lot. As education has been declared uh, by His Majesty the King, the second national, and I'm given 20 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Second priority after the territorial integrity of the country, we do believe it to be our duty as a civil society organization to contribute to the trans translation of His Majesty's declaration on the ground. We do that through the design and implementation implementation of a series of programs aimed at improving the quality of education and therefore its transformation. Our approach has from the very first year of the inception of the Timkin Foundation been focused on attending to each variable of what we at the foundation call today the Timkin equation. Indeed, to improve the quality of education and therefore contribute to its transformation, we focused our programs and their implementation on a multitude of variables such as learners, parents, teachers, inspectors, orientation experts, educational institution, and their administration, civil society organization involved in education. With that, we also focus on developing digital solution we use for the implementation of our program, open their use to our partners and to the public at large, initiating in the wind so a fast growing dynamic based on the following, an innovative and creative approach to integrating information and communication technologies in education to contribute in a relatively short time to a real improvement of the entire system. Two, collaborative and partnership dynamic, not only with education actors, acting individuals and authorities, within the country, but with other uh, from countries around the world, India, Singapore, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Senegal, Mali, uh, Ivory Coast, and other countries are coming in. A new approach to involving, third new approach to involving parents, learners, and individuals in organizations involved in education through the organization of on the ground caravans aimed at aim to visit, inform, train, certify teacher, teachers on the use of the digital solutions, namely the Temkin platform developed by the foundation. These platforms are almost nine of them. We have developed almost nine of them. One dedicated to interaction between 
like the one we're using now, we're using um, uh, Zoom. We have something like that. We have developed something like that that we use here in Morocco and being used in uh, Singapore and other countries on the continent, uh, uh, soon to be 50 countries on the continent uh, within a partnership agreement with the world um, uh, uh, movement of uh, uh, Pan-African women leaders. Uh, Temkin tutoring platform providing um, uh, tutoring um, sessions and remediation sessions to tens of thousands of students in a virtual interactive synchronous mode. Temkin seminars and orientation platform, scholarship platform, virtual school platform, and Temkin complex. It is within this approach and using the various pro pro proprietary platforms developed by our IT department that we were able to provide free of charge tutoring sessions to more than 1,200,000 students countrywide, contributing thus to the improvement of their performance and result too. Train and certify more than 14,000 teachers. Actually, Morocco has 240,000 teachers. We're planning on reaching about 50,000 teachers during uh, this year, 2021. Um, Particularly Temkin tutor, uh, trained on particularly Temkin tutoring platforms dedicated to providing interactive tutoring sessions to tens of thousands of learners. Creating and using more than 1300 Temkin classrooms, multimedia classrooms countrywide to connect with learners and teachers in an, uh, an interactive and synchronous mode. Organize tens of, uh, of seminars and round tables open to participants from more than 80 universities and schools from more than 30 countries. Organize more than 40 uh, on the ground caravans to meet with parents, teachers, students, public authorities, representatives, education administrative bodies uh, uh, to initiate and contribute to the development of the education transformative dynamic. Organize virtual open doors with the participation of tens of thousands of students and par parents to interact live with representatives of tens of universities and schools from Morocco and from nearly 30 other countries. The COVID advance, along with all the measures undertaken by public authorities to regulate the pandemic and, pre and prevent its propagation, forced the foundation to speed up its approach to education. Hence, our claim that while separated because of the ongoing pandemic and its consequences, we could still be together. That's our belief in the foundation that virtual education could soon well be a solution if information and communication technologies were used in a creative and an innovative way. For that, let me sub submit, if I may. First, there will not be a going back to the same life we had before to what one can call business as usual as the pandemic is with us and we are as yet to find the real way out. Two, we are also yet to, to know when it will be, if ever, not only for our respective countries, but for those also who do not have the means and resources and who are yet to receive the appropriate and mostly needed vaccine doses, mainly an important number of countries in Africa and around the world. What then? We believe in our programs and their underground uh, successful implementation have proven the rightfulness of our claim that an innovative and a creative approach to integrating information and communication technologies in education could be a very effective solution, not only to improving the quality of education leading to its transformation, but also to facing situations such as the one we have been facing with COVID. We believe it to be the opportunity to, rather than continue talking about education reform, we should harness ICT and accept the challenge of undertaking a total transformation of the entire educational system and why not engage in a real educational revolution. COVID, albeit a curse, is nonetheless a chance to do what months ago nobody could possibly consider undertaking. What was only a few months ago really impossible is, is not only unfolding before us, thanks to the courage, the vision of our leaders, giving thus birth to a new era whereby a new dynamic is born, operating the change of paradigms. 
That change of paradigm should expand to education in particular. Indeed, as education is key to everything and to anything, we should, as nations, as civil society organizations, as country leaders, give, give it our utmost attention. Together, as institutions, very much interested by the new dynamic, though separated, we should be able to actively contribute to it. We should be able to develop programs and undertake the implementation of underground projects to initiate new ways of teaching, of interacting with each other, of sharing, of providing support, of organizing activities using ICT. That's the purpose of the um, uh, series of platforms developed by the foundation to organize virtual gallery. This one is not an exception and will not be an exception. Others will be organized. The foundation is organizing um, on January 24th and 25th, the International Education Forum, uh, whose first edition uh, will be focused on information technologies as a, a way to improve in education. Share expertise and experience and provide support to programs, projects, and their underground implementation. Provide learners, teachers, and others located in remote areas with training and contribute to their participation to training activities in spite of their localization. Contribute to real transformation of education using ICT. Virtual education, while helping save substantial resources, particularly where they are not only most needed, but where they are also very scarce, will also contribute to providing education to those who, because of their remote localization, were deprived from schooling. If it is to develop this approach further, the programs uh, and the projects for their implementation on the ground, and to expand said implementation to the African countries and others, that I would like to invite the college, lead, uh, leadership, its faculty members, and all of us, while the partnership agreement we have signed together will be the frame to undertake for such, exp uh, such expansion, the new dynamic initiated by our two countries will undoubtedly contribute to our action. Our invitation stems from our attitude that you are as convinced as we are, as we are at the foundation that the issue of education, its quality improvement, the progress of students result, the performance of the institution which provide training, supervision and support for learners, the transformation of the entire system in an interaction with its environment being attentive to its needs and providing competent profile is everyone's responsibility. We also are convinced that the Tamkin equation of the qualitative improvement of education composed of the, the a multitude variables seemingly independent, but obviously interconnected is enshrined in your programs as it is in ours, as well as in their implementation in the field. Teachers, training, coaching, guidance, academic support, remediation for learners and scholarship opportunities for the, the, for the best among them. Field visits in physical and virtual caravan focused on meeting with students, parents, educational administration, inspectors, lo uh, local authorities, local prov provincial and regional partners, along with civil society representative. These are uh, and other program and their implementation have been the focus of the Temkin Foundation. We, as I said, how much time do I still have? Yeah, maybe two, three minutes. Okay. Uh, we, as I said, as, as I said, develop uh, uh, several uh, platforms. If I may present one of them, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, it's okay. How do I share? I'm not used to Zoom. I'm used to Temkin. <laughs> I don't know how to share. Um, so you should see a, a green uh, okay. button. Oh, okay, I got it. Screen. Okay. No, I don't know how. No, 
Karate. Should open the file first and then press on share screen. Okay, I will. It won't take more than, than a minute. Okay. Now, what do I press? But uh, okay, got it. You see it? Yeah, I hear. Yeah. yeah. This is this is the platform we developed to uh, for the the virtual open uh, open doors. We organized so far two editions, with the participation of more than seventy universities and schools from around the world, and uh, more than ninety thousand uh, participants interacting during an entire week, an open session room, and then universities and the participants meet together in a virtual synchronous mode in this setting for the entire week, asking questions, exchanging documents, answering, answering requests. This is one of the platforms. The other platforms are about eight of them. This one is the ninth. So next, next uh, edition of the virtual open doors will be in October. We're looking forward to the participation of, the, uh, of your college, as well as, uh, as other universities and colleges from Israel. Thank you so much for the time you've, you've given me. I was very pleased and honored to uh, uh, be part of this uh, conference. Thank you very much. We were very, we were very honored to have you with us.